We are very pleased to have been recognized as the 2009 Leopold Conservation Award winner. I think this award is, is important in getting the proper information out so that everyone sees that private land ownership is really private land stewardship, private conservation. Land stewardship is a very important part of uh, farm and ranch management. I think most people do uh, land stewardship to some degree. Uh, I don't think you're ever satisfied with the amount that you do. Uh, I think there's always room for improvement in everything you do. And I think in today's um, uh, environment, for us to be able to pass our, our land, our operation, our farm, our ranch, whatever situation you're in, uh, to your, your children, uh, you have to protect it and you have to take care of it. The first thing that you, you do is you take care of what Mother Nature has blessed us with at this particular point in our lives. And I, I think that also helps in bridging the gap uh, when you say, uh, see a neighbor, sees some of the things that you're doing. Uh, I, think, I think you ask a lot of questions back and forth and you make improvements on, on some of those uh, environmental stewardships that you, that you practice. This, this is our uh, new concept, our innovative practice that we've, we've developed. Jason Gross with the University of Nebraska helped us design this, this uh, area and the concept. And, and we're one of the first, if not the first, in a three or four state area here that has done something like this with a cow-calf operation. And uh, in our area, the type of soil we have, uh, it, it holds water a long time so you get more runoff. And that's why it was developed to, to work with that. And what we needed was an area where we could feed our, our cows on a daily basis and yet allow them to go out in a natural setting of grass, uh, to lounge, to loaf, whatever you'd want to call it. And in the feeding area that we knew would not be able to maintain a, a good grass vegetation, we wanted to be able to control any, any runoff, any, anything that the animal had, if we had a rain, would, would be caught and contained and dispensed in a, in a proper management uh, way in a, in a large area. And when it's contained, we can slowly release it on the other side in an isolated area of grass and legumes that the cattle do not have access to so that uh, we can distribute all this moisture in a nice, sound, uh, friendly manner that's, that's environmentally friendly and, and it's all contained and the grasses that are grown in that area utilize those nutrients. In our water management we've installed a water meter that measures the gallons of water that are, are pulled through the irrigation use and, and with that we use what we call an atmometer and uh, a soil moisture uh, meter and we, we insert uh, moisture blocks into the soil and we'll take daily, weekly readings of what moisture is available in the soil to plant use and the atmometer is a simulator of plant usage of water, what the plant actually pulls out of the ground for water usage and by using those two in conjunction uh, we, we can draw conclusions with uh, uh, bar graphs or uh, pie graphs of when we need to use water to best suit the crop when so we aren't overusing water we're using just what the plant needs to to utilize something that uses a natural resource in its in its best uh, practice and some of the things that we've done in our irrigation management uh, hiring an agronomist to know exactly what's what's nutrients are in our fields um, that's all come by asking questions, talking to someone who knows more than I do.